Reports of anti-Asian violence across the United States have, fi have filled headlines recently, but anti-Asian sentiment is also surfacing online. Now we have VOA's Tina Trin with the report. An increasing number of violent attacks against Asians in the U.S. have come to light, but the abuse is also happening online. 17% of Asian Americans reported experiencing severe online harassment, according to a January survey conducted by the Anti-Defamation League, a jump from 11% the previous year. When it comes to online harassment, 75% of Asian adults who experienced harassment said it was due to their race and ethnicity, and that's actually a slightly higher share than Black and Hispanic adults who also experienced online harassment. Say right yeah. Chung is editor-in-chief at Morning Consult, uh, okay. an online polling firm. The company surveyed 1,000 Asian adults in March and found that 29 percent had experienced online harassment, with 58 percent of incidents happening on social media. Chung says the impact of the harassment may be worse than what's been reported. So a lot of Asians, like because they don't talk about mental health issues um, openly, suffer in silence. And what our data shows is that they're not alone. The online environment is our environment now, and that affects people, and if it's being said online, it needs to be taken seriously as it would offline. University of California professor Yulin Xuan has studied the proliferation of anti-Asian hashtags on Twitter. Hashtags are really, you know, the new type of graffiti on the wall. It's a way to identify yourself to a particular group. It's a way to find people with similar ideologies. Schwinn and her fellow researchers analyzed more than 700,000 Chinese virus hashtags in March of 2020 and found that half were combined with anti-Asian hashtags. It creates this really racist belief against these people and has real-world consequences. It's harder to determine whether a cause-and-effect relationship exists between online sentiment and real-world violence, but Schwinn says it's worth investigating. While online hate speech is contagious, the opposite is true too, says Georgia Tech professor Srijan Kumar. If you can start spreading counter speech messages, if we can support, encourage, and express solidarity towards and defend Asian entities, then that essentially creates a cascade effect. Kumar says exposure to counter speech can potentially discourage users from turning hateful. In the fight against online hate, these experts say it's about the power of words. Tina Trin, VOA News.